Today we're talking with Plum and Adelchin, PhD and Distinguished IT Engineer for Cisco Systems. Plum is the principal architect of the next generation network of Cisco IT called Extended Enterprise Network, also referred to as E2M. Welcome, Plum. And he's Thanks also a good friend. Me. So our topic today is going to be on zero-touch deployment into the DNA here at Cisco. So Plumman, if you were to think about the single most kind of important thing, uh, DNA, with regards to best practices here within Cisco IT, what, what would you say is something that's really important to us? Well, Bob, it's a very interesting question. Um, I would probably say building our services around simplicity in an agnostic way. It's a key for the industry, and it's a challenge for Cisco. But like they say, Every challenge is an opportunity in disguise. I think Cisco has a work to do for the sake of our customers, users, and this large community of talented Cisco engineers. However, back to your question. What is the single most important enabling technology in my mind? I would say zero-touch deployment of devices, applications, and services in a location-agnostic way. And how would you define zero-touch deployment? Zero-touch deployment is being around as a concept in the industry and in Cisco for quite some time. I would say about 10 years. It's basically about deploying services, devices, and applications without any involvement of IT and with several simple steps from the end users. In Cisco world, you could see it as a plug-and-play or a smart install or power of auto-provisioning or auto-registration or simply Universal zero-touch deployment, the way we call it in Cisco IT, uh, because we deploy more than 25,000 devices using the technology. Can, can you expand a little bit more on the opportunity? Because those numbers were kind of big there. Traditionally, in the networking world, most analysts agree that uh, from TCO point of view, 20% is about acquisition cost, 35% it's about initial install and activation, and 45% it's about day-by-day -day operations and management. However, the mobility explosion, the demand for pervasive and high-definition location agnostic video, the user identity becoming the new corporate perimeter, the internet of everything is changing the way we provision and deploy devices, services and applications, and I can see the ZTD as a core foundational and cross-functional enabler. Here's more. <clears throat> A month ago, during our Cisco IT Next Generation workshop, we polled our IT networking leaders about the importance of more than 130 networking capabilities and more than 25 key networking solutions for the future. ZTD became number one technology in mind of everybody for Cisco IT in the networking for the next year. Think about the obvious first target, the TCO. Zero-touch deployment technologies are key to reduce those 35% of TCO to some reasonable minimum. Based on the work done internally in Cisco IT around this opportunity, there's an estimate between 25 and 60% productivity gain in different network domains translates into hours and hours of work and savings. Now, TCO reduction is very important, but it's not the most important aspect of ZTD. Think about the user experience first. The users or customers have to be able to provision and deploy a device, application, or a service on their own term from any location in a simple way, seamlessly, securely, and effortlessly. One step would be good. Two steps are one too many. That essentially enables a productivity gain which is far beyond any savings as a result of the optimization of your network. Think about time to capabilities. In the world of Internet of Things, it expands the footprints of Cisco into things like power poles or cars or hard to reach areas like never before. In the world of mobility, it enables extended network footprint and zero time for new technology adoptions like never before. Some experts use the example of the technician deploying a router on the power pole. You don't need an expert level to, uh, knowledge to do that. All you need is install 
part up one, two more steps, and you could move to the next one. Or think about the things like image upgrades. We kind of used to the idea that when you upgrade the image, up, you need to reload the device, you have to restart the device, and that's typically associated with the downtime. It's not true anymore. Now, using hitless technologies, we can upgrade during high-profile telepresence meeting or during business hours. Think about the security risk reduction and mitigation. Simplicity in security is a challenge, but it's a big opportunity for Cisco. Zero-touch deployment technologies, self-registration, secure device deployment technologies can allow us to deploy in a secure way with all the necessary and virtually simple ways to protect the integrity of the devices, services, and applications, users and customers, and the intellectual property of the companies, and can enable Cisco to become the trusted partner in security for many, many customers in the industry. So this is a, a huge opportunity then, right? Yes. How do we get there? I think the answer is very simple. It's hard to do, but simple to answer. We need a cultural change. We need to recognize and work hard to build zero-touch deployment technologies into every architecture, design, or implementation, or operational practice in Cisco and Cisco IT. In other words, we need ZTD into the DNA of Cisco. I want to thank Plamen very much. And also, if you'd like additional information on this topic, uh, as we evolve forward, please reference the URLs that are on the screen. And I want to thank you for taking the time.